In today's video, I am going to share my money-making no-bake cheesecake recipe with you. Beware, it's dangerously good. And in return for sharing this dangerously good recipe, I'm asking that you donate to my fundraiser for the Michael J. Fox Foundation. The link is in the description down below. Or the other option you have is you can search in Google MJFF Find a Fundraiser. And up at the top of the search results, you will see Find a Team Fox Fundraiser. I am a member of Team Fox and my fundraiser is under the Wiggles Project and the name of it is A Sweet Way to Help Cure Parkinson's. Please share this video with as many people as you possibly can. I totally believe that the amazingness of you, of YouTube, of the work that the Michael J. Fox Foundation is doing, and this recipe, that like all of that combined can actually make this possible. So my ambitious goal is to raise $1 million, and it's, an estimated, it's estimated that there's 1 million people in the US that live with Parkinson's disease. So that's one dollar for each of us and globally it's estimated uh, to be about 10 million so that would be the ultimate goal if we could get to 10 million dollars that would be fantastic and I, I do believe that the confluence of all four of these amazing things coming together can really make this possible I was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's disease in 2013 I was 38 at the time and I just was so thankful that I had the Michael J Fox Foundation there to help me understand what my diagnosis meant. By sharing this recipe, I hope not only to reach my fundraising goals, but to also raise public awareness about Parkinson's disease. I think one of the most important things to know about Parkinson's is that it is a movement disorder. It is not just a shaking thing that affects primarily older people. I had never heard of a movement disorder until I was diagnosed. Think of uh, Parkinson's this way. Everything your body does is a miraculous movement of some sort. For example, to sing or to speak, your ability to do this is created by moving air from your lungs into your vocal cords. Food needs to move through your digestive system to be digested. Parkinson's disrupts your body's ability to move in a variety of ways. It is progressive and there is no cure at the moment. The number one goal of the Michael J. Fox Foundation is to put themselves out of business by finding a cure. I think it's safe to say that for the Parkinson's community, the Michael J. Fox Foundation is like our North Star. And so please do donate, check out the website so you can see some of the amazing research that they're doing, the amazing resources that they provide to the Parkinson's community so you can familiarize yourself with what your donation is going to support. All right, so let's make some cheesecake. Okay, so here it is, the long awaited million dollar no bake cheesecake recipe. All right, so we've got two cups of walnuts. We're gonna take one whole pack of graham crackers. And I crush them in their packet. a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna do a pinch of salt. And I like to do my butter pats in here cold. I know a lot of no-bake crust recipes or they call for um, melted butter, but I've always done cold. And you know, I'm not sure if it's just sometimes maybe the walnuts are drier than other walnuts, but sometimes it, I will put in an extra pat. This is five tablespoons of butter. What I like to do first is to, to pulse. So I'm gonna just give a few pulses. And then I'll turn it on. Yeah. 
Yeah, and you'll know immediately. You can almost hear it when everything starts kind of coming together. So this is what we're looking for here. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful crust. So you can see how it sticks to the inside. And then what you're gonna do is just move it around here, spread it out as evenly as you can. Some people will use like measuring cups to flatten it. Some people have little instruments like little tampers or stampers to pat it down. But I've just, I love this spoon. I've saved this spoon for like the last 10 years. I've had this spoon forever. I don't know what it is about this spoon, but I love it. So you just go around. There we go. The thing that I love so much about this recipe is how versatile it is, even to the crust. So you can use gluten-free graham crackers. You can do an all nut crust. I've added coconut to uh, this crust. I've added chocolate. There's no end really to the, to the creativity that you can get flavor-wise with this crust. It's just phenomenal. And I like a thicker crust. So this is a nine inch pan and it's a nice thick crust. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna work on the filling. So just like I do with the crust, I like to break this up. And the cream cheese are eight ounce blocks, so there are three of them, which is 24 ounces. It is one and a half pounds of cream cheese. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. And for me, I like it to be just right sweet, not too sweet. And I feel like this recipe strikes that really good balance of not being too sweet. So I use one cup of granulated sugar, and then we're gonna do the juice of one lemon. Now, in terms of like, you know, being a versatile recipe, so like I've made chocolate peanut butter versions of this, chocolate versions, I do a coconut cream, I've done different types of fruit, and so obviously if you're doing a chocolate peanut butter spin on this, you wouldn't add the lemon juice, but just the classic recipe, it's wonderful. I love fresh lemon juice. Yum. Okay, then that's it, and then again, just like I do with the crust, we're gonna pulse it first and then turn it on. It's like a pretty amazing, and then there we go. It looks, it looks good. And I'm gonna turn it on. Just look at how thick and beautiful this is. Cheesecake to go, but I've made the, these special versions of these with for weddings. It's just a wonderful recipe. And so you can actually get two cheesecakes out of this, but this was the recipe that, and the size and all of that that I sold in my restaurant at the farmer's markets. devoted, devoted customers who just love this cheesecake. So I'm so happy to finally be sharing it with all of you. Um, and then we're gonna do a light sprinkle. Oh, and what I forgot to do is when I do my little crumble of graham crackers, I like to save one of them so I don't have to break open up a new package, but I'm gonna have to break open up the new package of graham crackers. Mm. So good. You don't even need this much graham cracker, but 
you take out a little bit from your first, you know, your crumbled pack. And I just like to smash it unevenly. Mm -hmm. Different size chunks there. And then this is an additional magic right here. God, I love cardamom. Oh, the aromatics of cardamom are just totally divine. Oh my God, I love cardamom. So sprinkle a little bit of cardamom in with that. And then you just get this beautiful little crumble for the top. And so for the chocolate versions I've made, you can do chocolate shavings. It's just, the, the possibilities are endless. Even with the chocolate peanut butter, you can do chocolate shav shavings. With the coconut cream version, you could do toasted coconut and chocolate. It's just, it's such a fun recipe to have. And being that it's no bake, it's nice, quick, and easy. There you have it. What a beauty. All right, and should you find yourself in a pickle, needing a quick dessert, let me just show you how wonderful this is. So I didn't even put this in the refrigerator. This is just right from coming out of the food processor. what I call a no-bake cheesecake. Mmm, yummy. Isn't that beautiful? Look how nice and thick that crust is. I love it. I'm just gonna cut into this bad boy and let's see how the crust does. Like I said, the crust is the one thing that is hard to, to settle, but sometimes it works. Let's just see, I'm just gonna use this knife here. Bam! Not too shabby. It would be better if it sat a little bit more, but let's go. Please donate to my fundraiser. I hope that you love this recipe as much as I do and my customers have. And thank you so much for watching.